Okay, so I took a little break and now there was a lot of information that I was quiet for, thinking it wasn't going to be important, and uh, uh, it apparently it was important. Oops. <gasps> oh, I can actually explore this. I don't think there are going to be any end coins here, right? Yeah, no, I don't think there are any end coins or the like. Would have been an interesting idea. What about the Feng Shui? Let's see that. Select the Feng Shui chair icon you want to change the look of the Layton Detective Agency. Pick the particular aspect of the room you'd like to change. There are eight different pieces, blah blah blah. Once you pick a look and press set to change, you have blah blah blah. Do you even have anything? Oh, I have this rep. Oh, interesting, interesting. I'm probably gonna, not gonna change anything here right now. Again, I do understand why they did this, you know, trying to keep the people involved, or in this case, in case the player, wanting to come back to delve more into it and all that. I get it. But, eh, probably not if, especially on this last play. Maybe if I were just playing this game casually, maybe. What do we have here? Ooh, blue, fresh. Oh. Uh, of course. And Nyx is here. Because of course you are. Uh, okay, again, I'm probably gonna do any of this. I'm just looking. Later. Nyx. No. Just lay down here, baby. A few moments later. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not sure what this is, this is a big dragon cushion because that's adorable. Poponio, because of course we have Poponios. And but no, the professor later one was the one who made me laugh. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's put the professor later on the one there. Oh they they don't they disappear once you use them. Okay, nice. And look! No, I have Professor Layton here! Oh, that's hilarious. What do you have to say? I'm so excited about this invitation from Phineas Sword, the new film of the Save World. What? Oh, okay, 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 okay. He's, he's, he's talking about the last case. Even sent me an invitation this time. So I can tell that Hayes fellow where to go. Hi. Hi, yeah. Okay. It was Marvel, when it no sub for love is Rector. Oh, is Rector at his best, I must say. It took me a second to register, but yeah, Rector isn't the director of the movie. I've seen it 20 times already. Jesus Christ! And then again, there are people who literally live in the cinema just to watch. I'm not sure if any of us sing that he got, got there. I truly hope because it did, because honestly, Nyx, you are starting to get on my... Mm. You are starting to get annoying on me, Nyx. Two hours later. Yeah, okay, I gotta record, so all this part is gonna get skipped. Nice. Yeah, Jesus Christ, that's a lot. <clears throat> so, it's time to go for here. Let's see what we have. Cases you, you're working on, on and any you've solved already are up on, your, on the pin board in the agency office. Press A or investigate button to start playing the case you currently have highlighted. Nix, settle down, please. As you solve each case, new cases will arrive to keep you busy. These cases appear with the word new in the top left corner, obviously. Cases that you've started but not yet solved are marked under investigation. Cases that you've already, uh, already unraveled are marked solved. You can still investigate cases that are already solved. You return to the point just before you solve the case and play from there. <clears throat> For cases you've already cracked, the number of coins found and puzzles solved in this in that case will be Oh, that's like useful. When you return to all cases, you may find there are more puzzles hiding around the place. And oh, okay, so it's not that I maybe have missed puzzles. Is that me? Me? I, I, I could be new ones. Okay. Yeah. Look. Oh, oh my god, 47 or 20, Jesus! Okay, this is more manual, but Jesus Christ! Yeah, but let's continue with the story. Madame Dublé, leader of the seven millionaire dragons, needs help to find her pre 
Precious Pet. Okay, Pet Pandemonium. Pandemonium, sorry. Ernest, that book you lent me the other day. Oh, have you read it, miss? Did you enjoy it? I thought it was a real page turner. Yes, well, I did turn the pages, certainly. Although, that's true to any, any book, of course. I mean, it was interesting in a way. But in a way, it wasn't really. Make up your mind! Well, I enjoyed the murder on the stormy desert island, but the way the detective solved it was a bit... dull. Personally, I prefer when the detective hacks his way through all the possible suspects until only the terrified killer remains. Ah, so it's a question of preference, good to know. Hacking through suspects? Yes, it's so much more satisfying that way. I don't think she means that literally. Hopefully. Satisfying? And scary. Detectives are supposed to be cool and collect and base, base their deductions on logic and reason, not hacking through suspects. Oh, really? Yes, detectives do, do traditionally have that image, don't they? Of being systematic and lucid. But Mil Miss Lace's indomitable style turns all that on its head. I think it's capital. You mean she relies on her gut rather than her brains? I prefer to call it Miraculous Instinct, sure, not Gut. It is a miracle, that's true. Miraculous has solved anything. Well, it sounds as if you know a lot about it. You're obviously a master of logic and reason yourself. Sorry? X. How about, I know, how about this? The next case you get, you can try to solve it. I'm not doing your job for you! Won't put your money where your mouth is? Oh, that's the phone. I'll get it. Perfect timing. No doubt it'll be someone with a case for us. No doubt it'll be a case of the wrong number. Sorry, it's just that Nix is not selling down there. Stay. It was Madame Double Miss. You mean the woman from the cinema? The mad martyr matriarch of the Seven Dragons? That's right. She said that she had something she'd like your assistant with and asked that you pay her a visit. Hmm, interesting. Perhaps she has a case for us. I really couldn't say. I will speak to the, to the detective in person, she said. She was most insistent. I see. Well, well, I suppose we'd better go and visit her then. Come on. You do realize this could mean you'll actually have to do some work for once. Me? You mean you, Shirley? Why me? I want to see your famous logic and reason at work, of course. You're going to solve this case. I am? Wouldn't you like to see Shirley solve a case, Ernest? Rather, that would be a jolly hoot! Well, I think so. it would mean I wouldn't have to watch you bumbling through another investigation. Alright, you're on. Cheryl's on the case. Excellent. Good luck, Agent Cheryl. Agent Cheryl? Hmm. I like the sound of that. Case for Pet Pandemonium. I believe Madame Dublé is Dublé's residence around here somewhere, miss. Didn't you ask her for directions, Ernest? I did, yes, but she wouldn't give me a full address. She just told me we'd know when we were nearby. But this is Minamir's role. All the houses here are enormous. It could take us ages to find just walking around aimlessly. I think this is a job for Agent Cheryl. Lead us to Madame Dublé's residence, using your razor sharp reasoning to guide you, Detective. Um, no. Wouldn't it be easier to just call her to call her passerby? Well, I suppose so, yes. Alright, let's ask someone. <laughs> oh that was hilarious. Hello, Mr. Dublé. Always remember to check the lights, because they are the hint coins. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling it was gonna be a puzzle. Aha! A puzzle in the chimney! Pinstripe, that's your job cleaning the chimney. Why don't you solve this one? Oh, me? Yes, yes, alright then. A Christmas tree. Ah. Okay. These folk need help putting up their Christmas tree decoration. They do it every year, but they always forget how to go together. I mean, that's fair, I also do. Press and hold A to pick up the parts and move them so that they fit on the frame to make three perfect trees. Parts are not all to overlap. Okay, so something like... Oh, okay, 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 so... Ah, got it. A few inches later. No, nah, that's another difficult of a puzzle. So, in conclusion, still no patch on this Layton, of course. Yeah, not the most difficult puzzle. You did it another year that they can enjoy their lovely tree decoration. No doubt they'll have for, have forgotten how it goes together again, but next time next Christmas rolls around rolls around. Yeah, I expect it to. Oh Christmas tree. There, clear at last. That should stop the fire smoking in the grate below. Well done, Ernest. I'll send them an, an invoice. <laughs> again, I'm making sure because apparently it tends to be. Oh my god, this thing is so sensitive. Yep. I think that was all three hint points. I th yeah, I think that was all the hint coins here. I could be wrong. I think you probably you probably have a puzzle and you have the location or vice versa. Let's see. No. Oh. Excuse me, I don't suppose you could tell us the way to Madame Gretchen Dublay's residence. Dear me, you don't know Madame Dublay's house? No, I'm afraid not. We're not familiar with it, with this area, you see. The Dublay residence is the largest building in the neighborhood. You can't miss it. Helpful. Hmm. Well, let's see. Ah, perhaps that's it over there. Exactly. What did I tell you? See? You can't miss it. Ha ha ha. So, you have some business with Madame Dublay, do you? She asked us to pay her a visit, yes. Really? Madame Dublay asked for you? Well, it must be more important than you appear. You're very fortunate. I should dearly love to, re to receive an invitation. Madame Dublay is obviously a very influential and significant member of society, isn't she? Did you hear that, Cheryl? You won't want to let down someone who's so important now, will you? Who? Me? Come along then, we mustn't keep Madame waiting. Yeah, no, it's kind of obvious who it is, and I think it's massive, Jesus. What do you have to do, cadet? Hello, 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 what are we here? This is a well-to-do part of town, you realize? I'm always on the beach or on these streets making sure there's no unscrupulous characters looking. Oh, so... Either he had some dialogue for us if in case we didn't get it from her, or maybe he would have given directions? I honestly don't know. Let's go. Ah, uh, oh dearie me. Who to talk to about this? That's the question. Someone looks like they've got a lot on their mind. Haha, <laughs> what extraordinary timing. I was just wondering whose ears I could bend. It's my friend, you see. She runs a little chain of accessory shops. But I'm afraid his business is rather slow. She's in a terrible fix. Could you talk to her, do you think? I mean, you're detectives, aren't you? You might be able to deduce what's wrong with the way she's managing the business. Again, not exactly sure that's how detective work works, but... Eh. Accessory shops, you say? I'm intrigued. I'll do everything I can to assist. Natural. Passers by. The Passers by accessory shop minigame has been added to Catrell's bag. Arrange all the items to sell as much stock as possible. Try to do the best job based on your customer's personalities and their desire to accessorize. 
Can you complete every level and prove yourself to be an accessory ace? Ah, oh, that place was massive, Jesus. Gosh, so this is Madame Dubé's residence. What a magnificent mansion. Worthy of the leader of the Seven Dragons. The millionaire of millionaires. You know, this probably was impressive to its time, being a millionaire and all that, but I swear, nowadays, everything's about being a billionaire. That's kind of the current joke, I'd say, with the rich and affluent people. I say that mostly because of the joke Bruce Wayne did in the Arkham game where, where, millionaire, where, where reporters say, the millionaire Bruce Wayne is so millionaire, it's bi millionaire is so last week, it's millionaire now, or something like that. That's kind of that kind of joke, you know. The infamous Playboy millionaire has never been one it's to. Billionaire, Vicky. Millionaires are so last year. It looks like those big double gates are the way in. What the? What are you doing here, Alexi? And first, explore, obviously. Hint coin. Again, I'm just looking to see if I can find any potential hint coins or puzzles. Oh, I just saw. Oh no. We're probably gonna have to to check around the entire neighborhood to find a precious pet, aren't we? Yeah, I figured. Puzzle time. Oh, hi, one, two, one, two, how are you? One, two, one, two. Brilliant. But probably not quite as brilliant as you. Well, you can't be jogging, that's for sure. I just saw her name. Gudrun Weldon. As in Gudrun Weldon. Oh my, oh my god, why? But you can't be jogging, that's for sure, but some puzzles are also fun too. I've got one here, I can try it. Maths. Look close at the weasel and the numbers and try to figure out which number goes at the bottom. Select the frame to enter your answer. Uh. Mm, this should do it, I think. No, I got it right. Ah, so that's what it was. You did it, the wizard was representing times on the clock. 2 o'clock plus 8 equal 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock plus 4 o'clock equal 14 o'clock or 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock plus 2 Honestly, you know what I was... I can actually see that now, but you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that it was 8, 4, then it was gonna go 6, 3 or something like that, or 6, 2. That was my logic. Uh, this feels like I used the wrong formula to get the right answer kind of moment. I'm a genius. We just might have an article puzzle next. 30 puzzles, nice. Well done, good job. I have to look up out for another puzzle now. So I've got something for the next time I run into you. Nick, stop. Thank you, I'm looking forward to it already. Can't wait, so excited. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, so there are more hint coins around here. Good to know, good to know. Because there was a tree, there was one here, I think, right? Uh, and maybe here? Hint coin. What about you, Alex? Ah, hello! I don't think... To, I didn't think to see you here. Ah, Alex, hello there. What are you doing in this part of town? Delivering order? One of my customers is having a party and they asked me to take a big bake for them. 
Oh yes, I'm sure the, the exclusive Lipsy cakes are in high demand around these parts. No, yes. This morning I delivered cakes here to Madame Dublé, but she did not look happy. I hope I did not do anything to upset her. Well then, let's go. The gates are unlocked. I wonder if it's alright just to go in. Hello, is there anyone there? Ah, good day. You must be from the detective agency. Madame is expecting you. Please follow me. Oh, thank you. Um, the dog, miss, uh, is he um, with you? Absolutely. He's one of the team. I, I see. Yix. Well, in that case, do come in, sir. I think Madame Zouplay pet is probably a cat, right? Don't mind if I do do. I know it's supposed to be do do, but still, I couldn't help it. You, you can't hear what I'm saying, can you? Woof 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 woof. What a talkative little fella he is, isn't he charming? Charming, Cheryl. Did you hear that? Mm. Oh, I wasn't really listening. What? So that compliment has nothing to do with my with your tail. Is wagging ten to ten to the dozen. No? <laughs> uh, Cheryl, you're adorable. Please do go inside, yeah, no. I shall just go and tell Madame that you've arrived. If you could all wait here a moment, please. I say, the interior is even more amazing than the exterior. Look at this tip-top furniture. Yes, the furnishings are very elaborate, aren't they? These carpets are of the highest quality. But what else do you notice, Cheryl? What's ha apparent from this hallway? Mm -hmm. Well, there are a lot of cats. Soft toy cats, cat tournaments, cat pictures. She's clearly batty around catties. Precisely. All these cat things. There's an unusual amount of them, wouldn't you say? Oh, look, here she is. Oh, dear. No, I specifically requested Professor Layton. I certainly didn't ask for a young parvenu like yourself. Oh, people are still demanding my father's services. You're obviously not abreast of the situation, madame. Pardon? Allow me to clarify. I will solve this case in my father's stead. Hmm. Very well, I suppose as long as it is sold. You must recover my dear lost Rexy Wexy post haste. Rexy Wexy? Sorry? Oh, my precious Wexy Wexy! Where have you gone? Where? I'm so worried! I can't sleep at night! Oh. Oh. Yeah, no idea why Rexy Wexy would want to get away from that. I simply have to find my poor Rexy Wexy. But before I entrust you with the task, I must be sure. Sure, of what, madame? Of your abilities, darling. I don't permit any old riffraff in my employee, you know. I demand the best. Still, I imagine a daughter of the great Professor Layton would have no trouble with a conundrum such as this. Hmm? Of course. Puzzling pearls. Okay. Here you have some mysterious shells. When you close and reopen them, the number of pearls they contain doubles. The maximum number of pearls each shell could hold is eight, and the shells cannot shut if they have five or more pearls inside. Can you mean? Can you make each shell contain five pearls? Select a button above a shell to double the number of pearls it contains. It is possible to move one pearl at a time from one shell to another by pressing and holding A over it. Mm -hmm. Again, I feel like this is one of those you have to solve an occurrence in the number of moves to get it right, right? Mm, let me try something. Okay. Hmm, okay.
Because then again, the logic is... Do this... Oh wait, then you double this, because then it's six. And then you put here. Honestly, not a difficult puzzle. This is an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Honestly, not that difficult. You did it! What a lovely what a lot of lovely pearls. To solve this puzzle in as few steps as possible. You need, a you need to avoid moving the pros around too much. See, so you can solve it in nine steps. I can already did, so... <laughs> Honestly, not that difficult. 